Welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I'm Banjo Ben, your host and website to teach you how to play mandolin guitar. This week is Banjo Week, and it's that time of year again. It's Christmas time. Over on my Facebook page, I asked if y'all just wanted to learn a really pretty, um, fairly basic version of Silent Night. You said, yes, please do. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to um, take the basic melody, but work it into these different major chord shapes, and then use the other notes in the chord shapes to create harmony for the melody notes, which is a lot of fun to do. So if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, you'll want to come over to the website banjobenclark.com. You can join as a GoPick member. You can have access to hundreds of lessons because I do one like this every week. Um, you can watch all the videos and download all the tabs and MP3s. So I've got a tab for this one. It's about a 15-minute video lesson. And then I've got three different speeds of rhythm MP3 tracks that you can download. I'd be honored to have you on board. Let's dive into the first measure, A Silent Night. Have a Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas, y'all. Let's learn, a, learn a, fern, a, fern, a fun version of Silent Night on banjo in the key of G. Um, this is a waltz tune, so we're going to use uh, that waltz rhythm pattern that you hear a lot. We're going to work that in, and then we're going to find our melody note within those chord shapes, and then use the other notes of the chord shape to offer harmony for it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, let's go ahead and throw up the first line of tab. You'll notice that we have our pick hand indications beneath each one of those notes. Those are just suggestions. Those are the ones that I use. It's going so slow. You can probably do whatever you want to do. You can just about play it with a flat pick. Um, and then you'll notice we're in three-quarter time, as I mentioned. So each measure has three beats in it, and each quarter note gets a beat. Okay, so you could write this in three, four, or six, eight. I went ahead and wrote it in three, four, and drew it out in quarter notes instead of eighth note triplets, for those of you who are wondering, uh, just because it's easier to, to read. You have to count faster, but it's easier to read. So let's go ahead and get in our GY position. So if you're not familiar with that chord shape, then you'll need to go check that out on my basic backup banjo series. But we're gonna start there, and except we don't have to play our ring finger. In fact, we're gonna use that ring finger here in a second. And our melody note's found on the second string. Right there on the third fret. Silent night. There's our melody note if you want to follow that one. So if that's our melody note. We're going to play that exact same thing except just add some other notes in with it from this G position. So it sounds like this. Pretty cool, huh? So that we start off by just pinching the first two strings. Then measure two, we're going, we're getting two in here. If I can get in two. Close enough. So we're gonna start off by pinching, then measure two, we'll go to that third fret, then come back to a, our third string, then we'll come back to the first two strings with a pinch, and hammer on that melody note with our ring finger up to the fifth fret. So measure two sounds like this. So, night. Okay, so in measure three, we have a pinch. Now we can go to our full Y position. And then our melody changes, right? Our melody then goes to this B note. We're gonna play it on the fourth fret of our G string. And then we're going to alternate back and forth in those inside strings with a pinch and our thumb. So let me just play measures one through six for you and you can hear that. 
It's pretty in it. 